sunshine and a soda garnished with a lime. It might sound delightful, but for some people that combo can actually cause a skin reaction. It's called phototoxic reaction and can happen when you touch certain plants that are exposed to sunlight. Vivian Williams has this report. I just have always grown up around water and I love to swim. But last year during spring break, lifeguard Allie Behrens developed a strange long red mark on her leg after a dip in the ocean. <laughs> But then it started to get really red and blistered. She thought maybe it was a jellyfish sting. Mayo Clinic Dr. Don Davis told Allie, yes, it was a sting, but from a plant and the sun, not a jellyfish. So I was kind of disappointed because <laughs> jellyfish sounds cool. Eh? There are certain plants and fruits in nature, such as dill, buttercup, bergamot, muscambret, parsley, parsnip, and citrus fruits, especially lime that when these chemicals that they contain hit your skin and then it's exposed to ultraviolet light, a chemical reaction occurs and you can either develop a dermatitis, which is called phytophotodermatitis, plant light induced eczema, or you can develop a phototoxic dermatitis, meaning plant sunburn dermatitis. Typical scenarios would be when you brush up against certain plants on a hike, or when you squeeze a lime into a drink, maybe you get some juice on your hands, you touch your arm, and when the sun hits that spot, the dermatitis appears in the form of handprints or drips. A lot of people think that it's poison ivy uh, with the lines and the streaks, but it's indeed not. It's a phytophotodermatitis. Treatment includes topical ointment and staying out of the sun. It's right here on my leg. Allie says her reaction was a bit painful, but over time, it's fading away. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams. Before we go, a brief look at the main headlines. An election observer team will monitor Virgin Islands voting process for the second time. Voters turn out for advanced polling day on Friday, June 5th. Premier and leader of the ruling National Democratic Party addresses the territory as BVI prepares for election. International Tax Authority has extended U.S. and U.K. FATCA deadlines. Minister Walwyn proposes a $15,000 payroll tax ceiling and a national internship program. Caribbean Insurers hosts Health and Wellness Expo with local and regional health service providers. And Jalil Cameron talks to JTV News about his effort to help raise funds. In news from the Caribbean, Guyana government tells the cash-strapped Sugar Corporation Board to resign and fires the CEO in an attempt to revive the sugar industry, and six Caribbean banks implicated in FIFA corruption scandal. Just a reminder that you can find all the news stories featured in this newscast as well as previous newscasts on our website jtvlive.net. You can also watch news features, updates and more on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash jtv55. Please visit our Facebook page and let us know that you like us. You can also subscribe to our JTV News YouTube channel for all our news features, press conferences and Spotlight's top news segment with Sean Rose. We welcome your questions and comments. You can email us at jtvnews at hotmail.com. For Sean Rose and the entire news team, I'm Eno Soman. Thank you for watching.